The United Nations is marking 2010 as the International Year of Biodiversity. On January 6, the United Nations Environment Program signed a strategic partnership with Puma, the lifestyle and sportswear company. Joining me now to talk about this is the United Nations Environment Program's Deputy Executive Director, Angela Cropper. Angela, what does this partnership mean? What are you trying to achieve? Well, for one thing, this partnership is uh, very innovative. Secondly, it gives us an opportunity to pool the, what different parties can bring to the table. In the case of the United Nations Environment Programme, as you know, we bring the knowledge, we bring the analysis to bear, we bring the advocacy to bear about why biodiversity is important. But here we have the opportunity to partner with a, a corporation that has had a long-standing association with uh, recreation here in uh, Kenya, football in Kenya and in uh, Africa generally. And they can bring their experience, vast experience, to bear on how do you influence people's consciousness, how do you influence their behavior, their choice, and so on. Angela, when you talk about biodiversity for the average person, do they really understand what biodiversity means? And perhaps we can just pan into our 2010 biodiversity logo. What point are we trying to make? Well, I think this is a terrific logo for these reasons. First of all, it uh, gives, a, a, in a very simple way, uh, an appreciation of the biodiversity of land, trees, plants and so on, animals, but also marine biodiversity, which is often a bit overlooked because when we talk about biodiversity, we often get preoccupied with the large species and forget that there's biodiversity in the marine sphere that is equally important for us. The coral reefs, the fisheries, the sea grasses, the mangroves and so on are very uh, important. But for me, what is most poignant here in this logo is the fact that we have built in here human beings in the center of this biodiversity. And I'm very struck and moved by the child representing the younger generation, looking up, perhaps with expectation, perhaps with some amount of concern for leadership, because human beings are central to biodiversity conservation, not only in terms of reducing the impact we have on it, but because biodiversity, as I have tried to explain this morning, is so important to our economies and to our human well-being. The Environment Program has also agreed to work with iconic footballers like Samuel Ito. How can footballers help spread the message? Do you think the people of the world and the people of Africa will, will take a uh, cue from them and follow, follow them? Across the world, uh, sports have become uh, central uh, to the quality of life and to the preoccupation of many people, many societies, especially young people. Young people, we have to make a special effort to help to them to understand, to influence them and so on, so that they don't continue to make the mistakes that we, the older generation, have made. Someone is, will be more disposed to turn on the television and sit down and look at Samuel Eto, whether it's playing football or listening to him on any topic, than perhaps the executive director of UNEP or myself. So we have to make use of these, uh, uh, these personalities also in terms of uh, uh, promoting an understanding of biodiversity. Puma has unveiled today its Africa Unity Kit. Um, the kit uh, will be sold to fans. Uh, the money raised will go towards conservation. Can you just spell out what kind of conservation efforts you'd like highlighted? Well, uh, the president of Puma said this morning in the press conference that the intention would be to devote to proceeds, some amount of the proceeds from these sales, to species conservation in Africa which is very, very important indeed. As you know, we have a project uh, working with, uh, within Central Africa to try to uh, conserve the great apes, for example. I would hope that many of these uh, activities that are already on the ground can benefit from support, financial support from this partnership that we have uh, engaged in. But perhaps also we can give attention to some of the species for which there are not yet conservation efforts in place so that we can actually expand the effort across the board and not focus just on the, the, the big game, but also focus also on the smaller species, which are so important for um, livelihoods, for human nutrition. As you know, in Africa, there are many rural communities that depend very directly on making use of these natural products, whether animals or plants, for their daily subsistence. And we need to make sure 
that those species also remain intact and so that their livelihoods will not be compromised. Angela, thank you very much. For UNEP TV, I'm Satinder Bindra in Nairobi, Kenya.